Hello, everybody, and welcome to this video where we are going to talk about how everyone keeps fucking Bukowski up. So, real quick, winner of your mom's Stop Me Price for Poetry. The campaign is up now, and there's only 20 days left. By the time you're seeing this, there'll probably only be 19 days left. We are actually at 305 right now with five backers. And so the way that looks is that we are going to need five weeks instead of four weeks to get this to the goal. But I set this up for four weeks. So that means we alls got to fucking work harder and we got to really push this bad mamma jamma through. So if you are one of the people who um, are going to support this in the future get that in sooner rather than later if you are someone who cannot help out financially let people know about this because if there's one thing your mom wants it's recognition from all of your friends okay now let's talk about this here and yes i have my book cover and the link down below deal okay we're trying to do something here. We're trying to change the effing world here, right? Okay, so Bukowski, let's talk about this. And the reason why this is coming up is because in the last week or two, I have stumbled upon a couple really long videos. Like, we're talking, I think one was a half hour and one was um, 50 minutes of people talking about Bukowski. And kind of like, this is everything about Bukowski that you could ever need to know type videos and the videos are for the most part well made but one thing that I noticed is that both of these videos and this isn't the first time this has happened this is just there are newer videos I've seen now talking about this but in both of these circumstances that I'm referring to both of these people said that they just discovered Bukowski and in a short amount of time read like a ton of his stuff okay one read a little bit more than the other but what i will say is that both of these people were wrong about so much stuff whether it is bukowski's history whether it is actual quotes like they were saying things that he said that he never said and then just other things like just little timeline things like this book came out at this time, and this book came out at this time, and it is wrong. And then even some things like, this book here is about blankety blank, and it's not, kind of thing. So what I want to get at, because I know that YouTube is how a lot of people find out a lot of information, if you come across any of these videos, and I'm not going to put the videos that I'm talking about in the description or anything like that, because the information in them is wrong. So I don't want you to, like go get wrong information it boggles my mind how much info could be wrong it's it's just it's a weird fucking thing and i don't get it so i just want to encourage you guys and this isn't just about bukowski this is about anybody if you're into a certain writer or you're interested in learning more if you watch some videos actually research stuff on your own after that if you're still interested don't just take what some jagweed on a video says and that like even if i'm the jagweed do your own fucking research find some shit out you know what i'm saying like i almost feel like all of these people who make videos on bukowski's life and all this shit watched like the first video from like 11 years ago that somebody posted with bad information and just took that information and then like said it again in their videos kind of thing it's it's just it's it's weird what's the quote find what you love and let it kill you that always gets attributed to bukowski there is really no proof that he ever said that what was it it's a line from a what's his name like dinky finkelstein or something like that a song by that dude there is a letter that someone said was from bukowski that said that but there's like 
it's not characteristic of Bukowski and it's not signed how Bukowski would sign his letters. And Bukowski wrote more letters than fucking God. So it's like people know what his letters look like. So just little things like that. And like just little shit. Like Chinaski is not the protagonist of Pulp. You know, just like stupid things. Ugh, there's so many. And like every time I watch one of these things... Oh, oh, and then this one is the thing that really gets my craw so much. The don't try thing. Um, when people talk about, like, Bukowski's life lessons or Bukowski's philosophy or anything like that, they do the don't try thing. And they make so much out of it. And again, we're talking about a dude whose whole like purpose in life was simplicity and not burying meaning upon meaning upon meaning under lines that he writes. So why the fuck would the quote he wants on his headstone be something that you have to dig through and try to discover meaning on? Um, that's kind of my whole thing about it. I don't, I don't know what else to say about this. Um, there's just a lot of people who are wrong about a lot of stuff and try to add deeper meaning to very simple things that Bukowski says. Okay. Now I am not sitting here defending Bukowski as a human, defending him as a person, defending his actions. I'm being very simplistic and what I'm saying, there's a lot of people who say things that are factually inaccurate when they do little Bukowski bio vids on YouTube. That's it. Okay? So don't read into it any more than that. If you're interested in him, do your own research. The shit isn't hard to find out. And the best way to do the research is to read his books. So if you care that much, read his books. If you don't, then click off this video now and we're done okay so anyway remember go over to winner your mom's sodomy price for poetry make that shit happen make your mom proud put a smile on your mom's face guys all right so until next time type hard everybody and i will talk to you all later I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.